this video we're going to look at how to make each row turn a certain color if the date taken is older than one year okay so this would be with conditional formatting we would first select all of the records and then go to the home tab click conditional formatting this is going to be a new rule using a formula to determine which cells to format okay let me start off with the easy part here I'm gonna click format I can easily click the fill color alright now for the little tricky part here so what we need to do is write this formula where this is true okay the key point is to look at the date taken we're trying to identify dates that are greater than one year so we can use the date diff function okay uh, let me type equals date diff open parentheses this function has three arguments the start date the end date and then the interval such as years okay the start date will be the first date listed in this box here now because I want the formatting to go across and highlight all of it I've got to pay attention to the dollar signs I want to lock down column C but I don't want to lock down row 2 so I'm going to remove the dollar sign in front of the 2 there so that reads C dollars dollar sign C2 so it will fall down that's argument 1 I type a comma the next argument is going to be the today function so type today open and close parentheses that's a special function that gives you today's date updates automatically no arguments needed there third argument what interval do we want to test it we're going to test it in years so I'll type a quotation mark Y quotation mark close parentheses okay now this will determine integers such as one it could be zero one two three and all that so we're trying to identify when it's greater than or equal to one year so I'll end the formula by typing greater than or equal to one okay click OK boom alright pretty awesome okay so mind you that this is June 1st 2016 let me go ahead and take this record here that was um, taken just a couple months ago I'm gonna switch the year to 2010 and let's see what happens now I should turn the entire row red just like that pretty cool okay for the date diff function be sure and check out um, my earlier video that talks about using the date diff and you can locate that by searching stevechasedocs.wordpress.com take care and have a good day